Okay, Gen V. So right. we're going to talk about episodes seven and eight. So I've I watched seven before last the last podcast. So it's been a week. So why don't you go ahead and give your thoughts on seven? Okay. I have some notes, but um, so, I'll let you start. Yeah. So I just watched them back to back. So it's kind of fresh, like together in my head. Yeah. Like both episodes. But so if if I remember correctly. The second to last, like I keep thinking of the last episode. Yeah, like, I the know. Second to last, because <laughs> that, that, yeah, that was the last real, real good time. But uh, it was it was an episode called Sick. Okay, that's right. So that's the one where they ha- are uh, they have um, let's see, Jordan, Marie, and Emma, all all the gang. Yep, they. The gang. They find uh, I'm, I'm kind of scatterbrained. So basically, Kate they they had a plan to get the uh, uh, what's her name, In- Indra, Indira, 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 Indira. Indira. They had a plan to get her to the house, uh, right to 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 kind of get her to admit what she's doing or whatever. Yeah, and then that was that was kind of what Kate was doing. And then Maria or Marie, Marie, she yep. was she talked. To, oh, this was interesting. She talked to um, what's her face? Uh, what what's the others? The other superhero? Oh, lady? Newman. Was Newman that was the blog. Yeah, she talked to Newman. I thought that was an interesting conversation. Yeah, I think uh, that I like that part. How they they have very similar powers, so that was cool seeing them meet. Yeah, it's cool seeing me, and then like obviously she used that to build trust, and you clearly can't trust her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and yeah. spoiler alert! By the way, we're gonna be talking more in depth about the episode yeah. and getting into it. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Yeah. And then spoiler. Yeah, spoiler for the rest of the the rest of the talk about Shandy. <laughs> yep. Both episodes. Well, seven I guess and eight. we could. I guess we could say. Uh, we could say our rating first, and then I'll get in spoilers. So. They want to know the rating first. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would, I would give this episode. I I really like this episode. I would give it an eight out of ten. I agree. I also gave it an eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. So it was a good episode. Now, now spoilers for this episode. Yep. Even though we kind of already did. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Um. So that was going on. So for Marie talked to her, kind of told her everything, like about the woods, everything, and Marie or. Uh, what'd you say her name is? Goodwin or Newman? Victoria Newman. Newman. She's like, oh. Yeah. Victoria Newman. She's like, I'll take care of it. You be a student now, whatever. And yep. obviously, Marie's like, no, no, no. Um, and then you had Andre. Oh, oh, that's the whole thing with his dad, right? They had that speech, and his dad has had yep. both the seizures. Yep. And so he had that whole subplot with, where he went, you know, there and then went to his dad's side. Yep. Um, and I'm trying to think of the rest of the episode. I, can't, I keep thinking the last one. So the last well, part was, yeah. um, they all went to Newman's house and then Kate, yes, yes. well, throughout the episode, Kate's like not taking the medicine, right? The medicine that Shetty or yeah, yeah, Indira yep. had been given her. Indira. And so she's yep. kind of like, it feels like she's getting stronger and a little more unhinged. And then at the end, she makes uh, Indira kill herself. And then yeah, I think yeah. the very they, end, Marie not use her powers. Yeah, to save, to her. save her. Yep. Um, and then I don't remember if it was the very end or if that was the very end, but Newman also gets the virus and um, and kills the the doctor guy. It was this episode? It was like a two in one. I feel like they're dropping flies and stuff. But yeah, yeah, that's right. Because she met, she met with the, the scientist guy. Yep. And you know, he's like, "Oh, thank God, you're you're taking this. Uh, they're overusing it. I want control." And she gave him the card, and it was like a blank card. Yep. And she was and like, then... "So you're the only one that knows about this?" And he's like, "Yep." And then he she explodes his head. Popped his head. Yep. And then and then left. Uh, and then yeah, uh, Indira. Indira had they made her kill Shady. her, and then yeah. Chetty, yep, there you go. <laughs> uh, and then um, Kate 
Uh, and this is, you know, I really like this about this episode. This is the real reasons why I, I rated this an eight. Is these last two episodes, they they like, man, the acting was good. Like I loved yeah. how, and like the, it was like very philosophical. Like, are they doing the right thing? Or are they not? Like yeah. Sam agreed with Kate. Like they're monsters. They tortured me. They used her. They deserve it. And the other ones are like, hey, that's what they want us to be. They want us to be. That's what they see us as. Murders. Yeah. You can't do this. Like, so it's like a very like they're both right and they're both wrong. Like I can see both sides. Yeah, that's true. I did like that about and, uh, the, this episode too. Yep. Yeah. And like, you know, of course it was Sam and, and, uh, and Emma, you know, like she clearly doesn't want them to, Oh, cause the whole thing is Kate wants to release people in the woods yep. to kill humans. Yep. Just let like, them free and let them clean. go crazy. Let them go crazy. Um, and, Really, I think it's just a school, but I think it's the point where it's any human. There's, there's, well, this is nice. But yeah, so let's start how this ends. And I, I loved, I loved the whole like it kind of. Well, I wasn't expecting. I kind of liked how they made. I don't want to say Kate like the the big bad, but they made they kind of made it like it just swapped quick. Like this could have been. Yeah, a I know. Yeah, I, I feel like six, seven, or eight all could have been a, a finale with like a cliffhanger. But I, I'm. I'm glad they mm -hmm. had more. <laughs> yeah, like I wasn't expecting the shit, especially the next episode. Out. So yeah. I guess we could just get the next episode because that's really all I have for that episode. Yeah, for this episode, um, I, I agree with you totally that like the acting was on point, especially for Kate, Emma, and Sam. I feel like they all, mm -hmm. like they all are having like turmoil that they're dealing with and like trying to figure out what's right and. Um, like Sam kind of being indoctrinated at that rally um, and it was interesting because mm -hmm. I could see how someone who's been that messed up, you know, could fall into, you know, that kind of oh, yeah. like hateful thinking of the <laughs> other side. Um, I don't care about that. that, that kid. He's from Supernatural. God, he's so Is he really? Uh, he was, yeah, he's uh, he plays. Uh, he, I don't know if you watched the last few seasons of Supernatural. No, I didn't watch the last few. He, he, he plays Lucifer's son oh, okay. in Supernatural for like three seasons. So he's like a super good guy like in Supernatural. <laughs> gotcha. Like, Sing of this, I'm like, God, what a douche. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, anyway. Let's see, what else? Um, um, yeah, that was... I, honestly, Kate... I, I agree with you also of how like quick it switched like all of a sudden oh Kate's kind of like going crazy and is the bad guy now and she the actress does a really good job of portraying that mm -hmm. and and um she almost seems like a a Magneto with Professor X powers if that makes sense like she's kind of leading yeah, this actually, group she to... but she has yeah. the like mind control thing and yeah so I'm I'm interested to see where her character goes. That is interesting. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. Honestly, this plot well, in the next episode had a had a kind of an X Men feel to be honest yeah. too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we can get into the next one too, because yeah, it was a good okay. episode, but I almost feel like they were two parts of a like similar episode. Yeah. 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 Because this next one was almost pretty much all action. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, so for what is it, the finale, right? Episode eight. Episode eight. Yep. I guess you want to give. Should we give our score first before we talk about Sure. Stories? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to say your score first? This time? Yeah, I, I really liked episode eight. I, I gave it a nine. I thought it was really good and got me super excited right. for the boys. Okay. Okay. I believe it or not, I would give. I I love this episode. I would give it a ten out of ten. Nice. Yeah. I, I loved it. That's um, fair. It was really good. Honestly, one of my... I just wish it was longer. It was, like, so intense and action-packed, and, like, I just wanted it to keep going. <laughs> it was short. It was only, like, a 38-minute episode or yeah, something. Yeah, yep. But in that 38 minutes, like, I, I, I was... I had no complaints. I was hooked into it. Yeah, it was the really action, good, too. Oh, I, I loved the chaos. Again, the acting was amazing the cameos in this awesome the episode made me laugh <laughs> that, yeah that part, uh, 
that part where, where Murray uses her powers to save him in the helicopter. Yeah. And then uh, what's his name? Jason Ritter or whatever the, the director. He's like, oh, yeah. he's, he's like, holy shit, I'm set in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was oh, wow. funny. Yeah, there were a couple of moments yeah. like that where like everything's going crazy and then they just throw in a goof and it was like, yeah, that's the boys' yeah. universe. Like, yeah, it was, just, it was funny, dude. It was like, it was hitting for me. The funny this was. Yeah. Uh, and then again, dude, Emma. And, and, and Sam's character, there's that part where they're they're fighting in that yeah. in that uh in the auditorium room or whatever. Yep. Uh, and man, dude, like the acting for both of them, and it's so interesting because they're they uh, I, I wrote it down. It's like they're using they're using each other's problems against them, like mm-hmm. purposely. Like they know they know how to get to each other. Like there's something. What what did he say? There's something Emma said to Sam. Then just vice versa. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, about how like down. she just wants everyone to like her, and then she says like yeah, she and gave he was up using everything. That against yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and he was saying that like, you just want everyone to like you, yada yada yada. And she was yeah, that was rough to hear. Uh, like, even just watching, I'm like, oh, that's like that's a rough fight. Yeah, to like, oh man. But it was so good. You like that? Yeah, it was. That was probably like the best acted scene in the whole series for me. Yeah. And. Um, but yeah, dude, the action, I love the humor, I love the cameos, and I mean, dude, when, yeah. when Homelander, Homelander came through yeah. at the end there, I yeah. do that, that actor and that character, like, just like, what he is he thinking? Screen. What is he gonna do? You, like, you never know <laughs> what he's gonna do. <laughs> it's, you just never freaking know, and like, and that's why, as much as I love the show, like, boy, it doesn't compare to boys, just because yeah. you have, like, a Homelander like that, like, oh my god. Yeah, there's a couple things that make me say 9 instead of 10. Part of it may be because I'm just more biased towards the boys. I like that more, but... Um, yeah, yeah. A couple other things, like I mentioned, it was a shorter episode, which is fine. It was action-packed. Um, but I still feel like Marie is getting stronger, and and like you can tell that she's getting more used to her powers, but I still feel like she was the main character and every other character overshadowed her. Like, I don't know. I just felt like she didn't have yeah. that much to do. Even this, I mean, she did have I a cool agree. fight, but you know, that, that kind of brought it, but maybe in the boys, if they like go free them or something, whatever's going to happen with them, that could be remedied. I mean, I, I agree for being a main character. Yeah. I feel like she got like, no character to help. Yeah. Even Andre, like, I, I, I wasn't guess. the biggest fan of Andre at first, but he got a little better. Like, his acting was still similar, but well, at least he had, like, more character development with his dad and stuff. And, you know. That's what I was going to say. I really liked, and I hope in season two, like, that he could finally be a character I like. Um, yeah. Now he's actually trying to be good. I feel like he could eventually, but, but they didn't get totally there yet. Because he's definitely my least, surprisingly, he's my least favorite character. And, but like you said, at the end there, where his dad's like, do better, do good, be better than me, whatever. Yeah. Like, he went in there and kind of helped save him. Like, yes, if you could, like, just be like this, man, maybe we'll like you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But Marie, you're right, though. Like, I guess she had that line where she doesn't care if, if her sister sees her. She just wants to be good. So I guess yeah. it's like the big growth moment, you know, where she's so trying to... Yeah, she did have some growth. That's not even really my, the problem I had with her character. It's, it just always felt like she was following along and just doing stuff with other people yeah. leading the the story. But she's the yeah. main character. Yeah, Why isn't she? That. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That just shows that the supporting that. characters oh. are good because there were a lot of good characters in the show. Mm-hmm. And and I will say, like, it took... Like, I, I loved the first episodes, but until these last three episodes is when I actually started to like these characters yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it did take a little bit. I feel like that, yeah, like the beginning, it was more so like, you know, the mystery of the show. And then, like, then you're right, once I hit episode six, where they kind of go into Kate's line. Yeah, that was a good like, turning point. Yeah. But I guess what made this a 10 for me uh, is like, there's a few things. Number one, it felt like. I mean, for a first season of a, of a spinoff show, like I can't complain. And the That's fact true. That <laughs> it's it's going to tie into the next season of The Boys, or at least the next season, like of of. Uh, I guess what I'm saying what I like about it is it's a spinoff, but it still has it ties to the events of The Boys. And yeah, it does it really well. Like even the very end with uh, 
<laughs> in the after credits, what, what's his face walks in the room? <laughs> Butcher, was, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, Butcher walks. Like now, I'm trying to wonder. I'm like, so are, are these kids going to be in? I think like, so. Are they going to be in the boys too? Yeah, we can talk about our uh, theories for what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I definitely okay. think they're going to show up in the boys. At least. I think so too. Uh, at least. Um, I, I'm like pretty sure Kate and Sam are for sure. Now the other four that are trapped in that room or whatever that they may be saving for like Gen V season two. I don't know, but, um, it's the whole point of this dot, what's it called? Gog university or whatever. Godolkin, yeah. The whole point, well, besides obviously the, the woods, you know, the underground <laughs> woods, yeah. it was to find the, like the most likable, and accepted Oops. people to join the seven. Yeah, so join the seven. Like they used it as like you know who's going to the pipeline like numbers. Yeah, yeah. And, I don't know. I just found it. I just like especially in the final episode. I just had no complaints. Like the action was awesome. The yeah, character some of the moments. The cool, Definitely cool plenty of violence. <laughs> plenty of violence. The cliffhanger to me was a good cliffhanger. Yeah, I like, like the cliffhanger. After credit scene, the the acting was great. The humor hit like it felt like the boys. Like I have, like you said, maybe the episode was short, but like that forty minutes, like I didn't look at my phone or clock like once. <laughs> like, yeah, I I yeah, really very really good episode. It. I'm so excited and for the boys now. Whenever that's coming out, you know, whenever it's coming out. Yeah, I guess if you want to hit like theory, so like where are they? Are they in like Dark Tower somewhere? Yeah, I think was there a Vought logo? It's either Vought or Newman has them, but I'm assuming since Homelander took them out or like took Marie out, it's probably Vought that has them locked up. So yeah. I assume Vought has them. I think Butcher is going to be looking for the virus cuz he now, I mean that the the corpse with Why the wouldn't he? Yeah. virus, yeah, he knows about it and he's one of the people that would probably want to use that. So, um that could be interesting. Like, are you gonna have to watch this season, this show, to to get? I don't think I need to watch a season, but I think I don't think you'll four, have to. Like, you'll get a better understanding. Like maybe in the boys season four, you know, it will, you know, have what you're talking about a virus yeah. or something. Yeah, that's what I think. This show is just you got you got the background of it. You know, like oh, okay, yep, which would be awesome. And and I think maybe. These characters don't even show up until like the end of the boys. And yeah, maybe that could be those things where there there might be like little mentions where... of them, especially if like Sam or Kate join the seven. I think Sam might be the new like black noir kind of character, with Kate kind of keeping him okay. like you know docile mm -hmm. and not feeling anything. And one of the reasons I say that is, I mean, black noir saw like the cartoon characters, right? So he was crazy, and Sam is seeing oh, the Muppets, yeah. so that's kind of similar. And he's super strong. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And then Kate is can kind of be like, like you said, her powers are interesting. Like that, and I feel like Homelander yeah. would like that power. Yeah, for sure. Or to be in control of that power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, there's so many directions this could go. But well, one thing's for sure is is uh, Homelander is he's he's going to try building an army, right? Like, yeah, he's going to go crazy. <laughs> well, he's gone and, crazy, but he's going to, like, escalate for sure. Because even when, it, when he appeared in the episode, he was talking to Murray. He's like, you would vote your own sign like he was not. Yeah. So it's like, you're right, though. Maybe with Sam and, and, and Kate, you know. Yeah. That's a good point, Kate actually. is going to be Sam dangerous. Like, she, her powers with Homelander's craziness, it's going to be... That's true, and he and he. I think he likes the, the idea of them. They're like killing humans, right? Like they're yeah. protecting their kind. He's yep. gonna want them. That's his thing on his side. And then you have Butcher. Oh man, this is gonna, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Another theory I have: if if there's anything to do with the four trapped in the boys, I have a feeling Emma learning how to control her size powers is gonna be. It could be a way for them to escape, maybe. Well, like, that's wonder... right. She didn't. She didn't puke or anything. That's right. Yeah, I, I thought that was a really cool cinem uh, cinematic shot uh -huh. where, like, it like 
kind of distorted and you could like see uh, her mentally getting small from what Sam said and then it zooms out and she is physically small. I was like, that was a pretty small. cool pretty cool scene. Which that would be a cool if you have control over that, that could be an awesome problem. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think good. that's yeah, um, man. I think that's why I think it's tied to her emotions and the way her mom made her feel about eating was why her binge eating disorder was what was controlling her going big or Control. small. Um, mm-hmm. Because it like she would binge and feel horrible and then have to puke and like fe- probably feel really small and horrible about herself. And that's what made her get small. So I don't know. That's just kind of what I thought. And then Sam kind of saying the things he was say, yeah. saying, the things he was made her feel similar. Saying, yeah interesting okay yeah i forgot about that little piece that's right where she that was a good shot see that whole scene was so good yeah and then even that scene where um where sam was talking to kate he was like you need my help and you could see his brother in the back that was i loved seeing golden boy in there i didn't realize Mm -hmm. this do you know who the actor is related to that plays golden boy Uh -uh. he's arnold schwarzenegger's son i think Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Which I did not know, and I found out. I didn't, I that was I didn't cool. know either. That was pretty sweet. I, I liked that scene. Yeah, that was a good scene. It's like, goes to show like how freaking mess, messed up they made Sam, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's... Sued his mom. He's been... And, like, they just... I don't know. They treated Golden Boy... I mean, he's still was pretty messed up but he was literally the golden boy and sam was just stuck there underneath Mm -hmm. although they both had really horrible (laughs) lives seriously dude. golden boy getting his memory wiped all the time and yeah but yeah i mean overall for the whole season if we're doing like a retrospect i'll give it a a good eight out of ten yeah like with everything combined i i think that's what i would give it to that's a it was a very solid show, especially for being, like you said, a first season of a spinoff show. That could have gone, like, totally differently, but they, they did a really good job. Yeah, yeah, it's a solid, solid first season, and a good way to tie it into the show without it feeling gimmicky. Yeah. Because it totally makes sense for Butcher to want a virus like this. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't totally just come out of nowhere water. now, like... No, yeah, exactly. We like know. The fact we get the background of it. And, yeah. And, and maybe the people who don't watch this show, they'll be like, if they, they were cooking a virus somewhere, like they won't get it. Yeah. It. But you don't have to watch it. That's a good spin off. Yeah. You don't have to watch it. But it, but makes it adds it better. something, yeah. So, yep. It's a, it was a little slow start, but even the slowness well, wasn't bad. I think the lowest episode we gave was like a six. It, it, even maybe it was a seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just so, getting more uh, boys, even though the boys wasn't on, was was cool. I just loved that universe and mm-hmm. felt they kept the the tone very similar, like showed the world in a very similar way, which kind of helps tie everything together. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think is it just me or like they did not advertise the show, did they? No, I literally didn't even know about it until like episode two or three when you told me on this podcast. I was you like, know, right? like. Uh, even people who love the boys, like I told Brandon and my dad about it, and they didn't even they didn't even hear of Gen U. Yeah, that's crazy. They definitely Isn't that weird? Not. Like, yeah, it's very weird. It's I so weird because it's a good show. It is. And I think overall, it's getting solid reviews. Yeah, from what I've seen. So I don't know. From what I've seen too, I mean, it's not. It's not like, like I said, like I'm not getting ahead of myself. It's not to level the boys but it's a yeah. good little taste of it like you said while the boys isn't on yep yep solid so, show very solid, happy it was made show. i can't wait for the next boys season whenever the heck that is yeah <laughs> i'm assuming probably at the earliest the end of next year yeah i'm wondering if they have like the boys rescue the four or if they escape or if they save it for gen v season two i really want to know what what they do with that mm-hmm. i do too um yeah I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if we even see these characters in the season four i don't know yeah i'm, I'm curious i can't wait yeah 